Let's write the balanced equation for Al4C3 plus HCl. This is called aluminum carbide, and this is hydrochloric acid. So the first thing we'll do is count the atoms up on each side. Four aluminum atoms, three carbon atoms, and then hydrogen, one of those, and one chlorine. The product side, we have one aluminum, one carbon, four hydrogens, and three chlorine atoms. Okay, why don't we leave the hydrogens till last and we could just start with the aluminum. Maybe we could put a four here as our coefficient. One times four, that would balance the aluminum atoms. And then for the chlorine, three times the four, that would give us 12 chlorine atoms. Probably a good idea to put a 12 in front of the HCl right now and see what happens. One times the 12, that would give us 12. Those would be balanced. Then one hydrogen times 12, that would give us 12 hydrogens. At this point, if we put a three in front of the methane, one times three, that balances the carbons. And four times three, that gives us 12 hydrogen atoms. And we're done. This is the balanced equation for Al4, C3 plus HCl. If you wanted to know the states, they would look like this. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for aluminum carbide plus hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.